We're going to start with Michael Keaton's highly anticipated return as everyone's favorite undead guy. He <laughs> lit up the screen last night in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Tim Burton's highly anticipated sequel to the 1988 hit film. It had its world premiere at the Venice Film Festival. Very fancy. Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Jenna Ortega, and Catherine O'Hara walked the red carpet to celebrate the sequel that's been 36 years in the making. It's about time, guys. Keaton joking with reporters that his character is as suave and sensitive as ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this sequel opened to a four minute and 35 second standing ovation. Critics are already raving with Deadline calling it a blast to watch. I love how they, they talk about how long the standing ovation is for all of these. Yeah. It's always amazing that they actually do. Of course capture the amount of time. They do, and Tommy actually watched the movie already. He says it's unbelievable, and it really just honors that original movie. Gio and I actually have a history with Beetlejuice, because he recommended that I go see Beetlejuice Broadway with my kids. Oh, Great no. show, not kid-friendly. Thank you, kids? Uncle Gio, when for that. You don't need to tell people this. Well, the, movie, the movie comes out soon. It's getting great reviews. Yes. Michael Keaton, we're so happy for you. Yep. And get your dancing shoes on, because we are heading back to the ballroom, everybody. Season 33 of Dancing with the Stars is upon us. And right now, we have a very special, special message from one of the pros making a return to the show. Check it out. Hi guys, it's Whitney Carson. I am so excited to announce that I am coming back to Dancing with the Stars for season 33. Just you wait until you hear who my partner is. He will sweep you off your feet. We are so ready to get that Len Gum and Mirabal trophy. Welcome back, Whit. It's been two years since she hit the ballroom floor, partnering with Wayne Brady in season 31. I believe they came in third place. Why I remember that is unclear. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's fired up and ready to bring home that Mirabal trophy for the second time. And I know that her first time was with Alfonso, oh, the host yeah. of the yeah, show. Yeah, Again, so why? Yeah. Why? Why do I know these things? All the Expert. I know all things Dancing with the Stars. And because it is so much fun to watch, we will find out who everyone's dancing with. Well, um, that's coming up very soon. We'll have that for you. Of course, the new season premieres September 17th. Get ready for it. Already we saw that pommel horse guy. Yes, yes. The yes. Very exactly. First. We know it's going to be a great season. Yeah, he's be a good I've heard answer. inklings, yeah. and it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, all right. And then finally, guys, we turn to one of our favorite subjects, sleep. You were just talking about it. We talk about it all the time here. Well, a new study presented at the European Society of Cardiology Congress says catching up, catching up on sleep during the weekend is yes. A very good, good idea, right. specifically for your heart. Researchers say recovering sleep lost during the week could reduce your risk for heart disease by 20%. So wow. go ahead, sleep in. Except we, for not you. No, Neither of you can not sleep. Not these guys. <laughs> right. Except show. for Wayne yeah. Gio. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but we should say this, the study, guys, though, is not peer-reviewed yet. Other studies have questioned the benefits of makeup sleep. They indicate that you want to get that regular sleep every yeah. night of the week. Yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, this study was genious. Yes. And that's <laughs> pop news. Love it. Thank you, Lara.